Hello, this video is on the relationship between forethought uh, planning on the one hand and spontaneity and freedom on the other hand. And it's within the Middle Way series. So, when one wants to take on the training of mindfulness, awareness and growth and development generally, there needs to be a creative, positive relationship between forethought and planning and freedom and spontaneity. They ne each needs to have their place and they need to have a relationship between them. So let's say for example, a very simple example, is if I definitely choose to meditate in the mornings at seven o'clock, then part of the forethought is, well, what are the, the conditions that will support that? So a very simple conclusion is, I need to, to have had enough rest. Uh, so the implication of that is, I need to actually think about the timing of when what I do the night before and go to bed early enough so that I do get enough rest and sleep so that I can get up in time refreshed and ready, not too rushed, uh, and not too kind of jangled uh, and unprepared. And therefore, by the time I actually get up, I'm ready because all the preparation and the setting of conditions are ready that what I need has been thought through. You know, that the clothes laid out perhaps, or the, uh, the way that the cushions are going to be laid out, everything, it, that can be arranged beforehand. It doesn't, that doesn't have to be spontaneous. It's not necessary for it to be spontaneous. Uh, it's actually helpful for there to be some order and consistency in that sort of thing. So in that way, when uh, I come to sit in the morning, I'm ready. Yeah, I might even have had uh, the preparation more mentally, you know, that yes, I notice at the moment that I've got a lot going on, so I'm thinking about that. So part of my preparation is to think, well, I'm definitely going to uh, counter that tendency just to use the meditation to think about that topic and the forethought is in a way part of seeing heading it off at, at the pass as it were <laughs> seeing the potential uh, distraction and countering it internally and going no I'll be ready for that uh, and that preparation means that when you sit down it's no surprise when the, all that uh, distraction, to call it that, starts to, to come in and you're going, no, I'm ready. So this is, it's, it's starting now. So this is where I assert my intention to stay with the practice rather than go off and do something else mentally. So by actually creating uh, a more settled, absorbed, focused state of mind, which is clearly doing uh, a practice. There then comes a period where uh, energies start to be freed up. They start to be released. And this is where, in a way, the spontaneity happens. In that spontaneity, uh, you have the ability to just follow something. And it might be that in that moment something new arises and you follow it. So it's not just a, uh, a reckless abandonment of the plan. It's actually a spontaneous following of something that is positive. In, within the bigger picture, uh, one can say that within one's life one might have periods where you're very consistently focused, disciplined, and uh, you're, you're setting up 
the conditions that you need and then periodically you have periods of time when actually you, you just don't need to do that. You can, going on holiday or taking a rest uh, period uh, are examples of that where there's more space and time for uh, other sort of creative processes to emerge and for you to follow them in a spontaneous way where you just go well actually this is, this this seems like a really good thing to do at the moment I'll do this and not uh, be so planned so the relationship between the, the forethought and the preparation and the planning and looking ahead and the freedom of spontaneity are very interconnected. There is a definite relationship and one, I think, needs to know for oneself or about oneself where one's tendencies are. Do you tend to be too literal and tied down and saying, no, I'm doing the practice and the flexibility here? Or on the other hand, well, whatever, you know, it's all meditation, it's all part of the flow, isn't it? Uh, so noticing that you have these tendencies and finding a relationship, a middle way where they meet at a higher level and support each other.